And this is the lineup, which includes down on the inside Emma James, who was the first Kiwi home in Christchurch, in a smart time of 2.07. And Tony Hodgkinson running in lane number four, and Julie Jenkins in lane number six. And also in this lineup is uh, Kathy Rattray Williams, the Jamaican, ran in Barcelona in the 4x400 meters relay, ran the 100 meters in Christchurch tonight. She's running 800. There's Tony Hodgkinson, just 21 years of age, shut out in Christchurch. Had a very successful track series last year, but finding the competition a little tougher here with the Julie Jenkins, and also Emma James down on the inside in lane number one. Very good run from the 18-year-old from Manawa 2, number 210. Starting again down on the inside in lane one. Lane one, one break. Semi finalist at the World Junior on Championships in Seoul just a few months ago, Emma James, fastest New Zealander last year. The women's 800 metres running in lanes, of course, as they must do for the first 100 metres with the Julie Jenkins. Out strongly running towards the outer lanes of the track in lane number six and alongside of her is Kathy Williams as they make their way into the headwind down the home straight for the first time. Emma James has moved into third place and Tony Hodgkinson fourth. Now Emma James usually hangs off the pace though. She's in an unusual role here chasing the pacemakers right at the moment trying to bring the bunch up on Kathy Williams from Jamaica. Now Kathy Williams in second place is a pretty smart 800 metre runner and has run two minutes and three seconds. She's a very good 400 metre runner and obviously a very good sprinter. So if there's any dawdling tonight, she could be a bit of a handful later in the race. But she might be finding the first 400 metres of this race uh, rather unusual as she just has to pace herself and not go out too hard in case she ties up over the last 400, which is the distance she's more comfortable with. But Julie Jenkins, one of only five American women ever to have gone under 200, two minutes for the 800 metres. As they get the bell with under 400 metres left in the women's 800, it's Jenkins, Rattray Williams, Hodgkinson and Emma James. One, two, three, four. No change since they broke lanes now 400 metres ago. Now Rattray Williams, she should be right up on Jenkins into the headwind down the back straight. And that shows the inexperience that she has in running this sort of distance. Uh, talking to her before the race, she said, I hate those two laps, man. But she's putting it in there and doing very well at the moment. Tony Hodgkinson in third place. She's put a little gap on Rattray Williams with 200 to go. The two New Zealanders, 15 or 20 metres behind Julie Jenkins. They've got no answer for her this evening in these windy conditions. It's another strong run coming from the American. She has done 157. Semi-finalist at Barcelona into the home straight. Julie Jenkins being chased by the 100 and the 400 metre specialist. What can the Jamaican do up the home straight? I don't think she's got anything left. The coach... Grace Jackson on the inside, urging on Rat Ray Williams, but Julie Jenkins going to win this race quite comfortably, very strong at the end. Gets home in two minutes and eight seconds. Rat Ray Williams, second Tony Hodgkinson is the first New Zealander home tonight, and Emma James finishes in fourth place. That's how it finished in the women's 800 metres. Another victory to Julie Jenkins. So Jenkins is so strong, uh, she's just as she did in Christ, just wound the pace up over that last 100 metres. But Tony Hodgkinson, number 213, coming with a very determined run in third place. But I'm impressed with Rattray Williams to take that second place. Julie Jenkins makes it two victories from two meetings in New Zealand in January of 1993, winning the 2ZB women's 800 metres in the time of 208.54. Rattray Williams, the Jamaican, takes second place. Tony Hodgkinson, home for third place. Julie Jenkins from Arkansas, where I guess they'll be having a few celebration parties this evening, having their own here in Wellington with a win in the women's 800 metres.